if you're using FEMA to get your flood maps for your appraisal, you're wasting valuable time. Getting a map from the FEMA.gov website is not exactly easy. What I want to show you is the difference between adding a FEMA flood map and adding an interflood flood map into your report in total. What's shocking is how long this process takes to get a map from FEMA.gov. So I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. I'm also going to show you how fast and convenient it is to get our flood map directly from total or wind total into your appraisal. So we're going to go to FEMA's website to pull a flood map. We're going to enter in our address and then click search. It's going to load our map and then we're going to go ahead and click save map. Now FEMA's maps are quite large, so they can take an immense amount of time to download. So if you look at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that it's actually downloading and it's going to take anywhere from three to five minutes. So I'm going to speed this process up to show you how long it really takes. Okay. Our map has finally finished downloading. So we're going to select open folder and it's going to save the map in a zip file. So you need to open up the zip file, copy the PNG of the map, and then I'm just going to paste it outside of the zipped file. So now that we've got our flood map, we're going to go ahead and add it into total. So we're going to click Insert, Page from Image, and the title is Flood Map. So let's go ahead and browse to the flood map location. There's our flood map. Let's click Open and click OK. Your flood map will be inserted at the bottom of your forms. So here's our FEMA flood map, but we're still not done. We still need to add the subject balloon to show where the location of the subject property is. So we're going to double click on our flood map. We're going to crop down our image. And then we're going to select the add balloon. And we're going to select the subject. And then OK. Now we've got our balloon. Let's go ahead and select save images. And there's our FEMA flood map. Now let's load our inner flood, flood map. You're going to select the carrot beside the add map. Click flood map only. And it's going to load your subject property information so you can verify that it is in fact the correct location. Select next. And it's going to contact inner flood to verify that you've got a valid inner flood contract. As you can see, it adds a circle around the subject property, so you don't need to put a balloon. And once you've got your map, go ahead and select Finish. Now you've got a fully colored, automatically sized flood map. See how quick that was? As you can see, our inner flood maps save you time and money and are worth every single penny. You can buy inner flood maps at interflood.com or give us a call at 1-800-ALL-A-MODE and we'd be more than happy to go over the interflood map options.